this is the Lazy 88 and today we are going to be opening another May Twins box. This one is for May 2018. Okay, so we have Pom Pom Sunshine. <laughs> and it says, Your Sanrio collection is piling up. This box, you will find another licensed Sanrio plushie, all of the kawaii-ness. This month features the cuddly Pom Pom Purin, which character do you think will be in the next box? Well, I'm pretty sure it's Cinnamon Roll. It's the only other character I can think of with those floppy ears. It says, Did you know Pom Pom Poon is a golden retriever? He loves when the blind, when the blind woos. <laughs> he loves when the wind blows away his beret so he can go and retrieve it. And then it says here, It says, Konnichiwa. What does Pom Pom Poon and Sunshine have in common? They both have a kawaii pastel yellow colour. Pom Pom Purin also loves going out and enjoying the outdoors, making the most of his day. Knowing all this, we were inspired to create a Pom Pom Sunshine box. In this box, you can find many cute yellow items that represent May's nice weather and Pom Pom Purin. We hope you find these items useful and enjoy using items from this box with items from past boxes as well. Have a great sunny month and be sure to make the most of every day just like Pom Pom Pirin. And then I think the next page is what we get, so let's not look. Oh, well it kind of tells us some of the stuff. Bit of a spoiler, but yeah, it's fine. We get a chick kitchen spoon. <laughs> This month our goal is to help bring you out into the sunshine and bring the sunshine indoors to you. This chick kitchen spoon's bright sunny colour helps accomplish that. Its cute design also warms the heart, just as though you are standing out in the sun. With this spoon you can scoop rice, stir soup, toss a salad, serve food or just stand it up as cute kitchen decor. We hope this quiet item makes your daily life bright and merry. We also have a photo contest, which I don't tend to do. We have some fan art. The UMA prize, which... Oh, I want the calculator. Like, there's so much really cool stuff here, but I'm like, I want the calculator. That's, that's all I want. Pokemon goods galore. Prepare for trouble and make it double. In March of this year, the world's first permanent Pokemon cafe opened up alongside a new Pokemon center in Nihonbashi, Tokyo. Go shopping for super kawaii Pokemon goods like plushies, stationery, and more, and then treat yourself to super delish and cute Pokemon themed dishes. Ooh, be sure to stop in here while on your Pokemon master journey. That looks awesome. I'd love to go to a Pokemon cafe. I'd like to go to any themed cafe in Japan. They just go over and above. Like in the UK, if you have themed things, it's like named after something, but they actually like design the food to look like the creatures, so like the Pikachu omelette or something. Yeah, I think that's an omelette. I'm not sure. And you got some pictures of other people receiving the Yumi Twins box. So let us see what we get. In our box and I've got because I'm cheap I've just got the Asda one but I got some orange juice because it's hot. We seem to be having a bit of a heat wave in the UK right now so yay heat wave. So 
So the first thing I see is Pom Pom himself. important part of him, his butthole. You can't stop staring at the butthole. <laughs> stop looking at my butt, huh? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. One more. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So this seems to be like the same style um, as the My Melody one. I don't know if it feels slightly shorter, I don't know, I can't, I can't tell. These will be nice all stacked up together to be honest. And now that I've had it out of the bag for a minute or so it's starting to poof up again. Looks better. Looks a bit chubbier now. Yeah. It's really nice. This is a new item I believe. Um, 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 um. <clears throat> I think it's from 2017, so it might have been late last year, but it's um, got a tag, it's some rare characters, and it's really cute, so happy, yeah, it's very nice, very nice. Then we have the, sh the chick yellow spoon which I'm not going to take out the packet because I'm not ready to use yet. Does it stand up? No. Oh it stands up really nicely. That is so cool. I thought maybe it was going to be like one of those things that you like go like that and it just goes bullet. But no it's it's like it's really firm. It's it's yeah that's really cool. I like that. Very nice. It's kind of got these like ridges to it, like these dots. So I think it's primarily a rice spoon, but obviously a lot of people don't have rice cookers. Uh, like we don't have rice cooker. Um, I would like to have a rice cooker because I actually really love rice, but my family are potato eaters. So we tend to get mostly potato. I could use this for mash. Mash potato, mash potato. In a while, crocodile. So yeah, I really like this. This is quite cute. I don't know when I'll get to use it, but I definitely will be using it at some point. Uh, even if I have to wait until I get my own place and can, you know, use it for anything and everything. Who knows? What else? Put in the comments if you can think of other uses for this. Like, I can think of, like, as an English person, I can think of mashed potato. We don't tend to um, toss our salads with one spoon, so um, I'm not sure how it would work for that. Soups, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this would be a good soup spoon because it's got holes in it. So, I don't know. Leave a comment and tell me what you would use this spoon for. Okay, let's lay that down. And then we have very squishy. Why do they have to, like, we only get six items in a box now and it's like they waste certain times, they waste items. It's like could have had something really good but we're gonna give you a squishy again. Well, I haven't been reading the info. 
Okay, the Pom Pom Purin, I'm so sorry. Second Sanrio Kwai plushies popped into your box this month. Pom Pom Purin loves going outdoors, so he is here to help you enjoy the lovely sunshine. Who do you think's third upcoming Sanrio plushie? The, oh God, it's scented. <coughs> oh no, that's nasty. Um, the Chick Kitchen Spoon. Bring a bit of sunshine into your kitchen. This adorable Chick Kitchen Spoon's bright yellow colour lights up the atmosphere while being super useful. You can use it around the kitchen and once you finish using it, you can stand it up as a cute decoration. What will you cook with the spoon? And then this is a Taiyaki Squishy. Traditional, totally delish Japanese pastry. Taiyaki is loved throughout Japan as a snack to eat while strolling around spring and summer festivals. This squishy helps bring that sense of spring and summer happiness that can be taken around wherever you go. Now it looked like there was five you could get. A yellow one, which is the classic, like vanilla, I think. A pink one, which I think is Ichigo strawberry. White, which I don't know what that would be, like white chocolate? And then you've got this one, which is chocolate, and a green one, which I believe is matcha. And this stinks. Like, it's not even... Ugh, it does not smell like chocolate. It just smells like... um nail varnish remover that's what it smells like nail varnish remover Ugh. sorry it's just that is gonna go in the bin because that is we can seal it away Ugh. that smells really bad I had a whiff of it. I was like, what is that? It's like acetone. That's what it smells like, is acetone. That's nasty. Oh, it hasn't really made my hands smell, so we're okay. Otherwise I'd have to stop and wash them. So, okay, we're good. We have... Oh, stickers. Stickers! I love stickers. So, as you, it says, cafe holographic stickers. As you go out and make memories, these kawaii cafe themed stickers are here to make your journal, schedule, diary, etc. a lot more personal and fun. The designs are perfect for an awesome stationary Instagram pic as well. How will you use your stickers? And it looks like you get six different designs. And that's what they look like. I don't know if you can see the hologram part. The holographic part. Hologram. Um, yeah, so these would actually be really nice in my diary uh, to put things like, um, like when I go out and meet somebody for like lunch or something, you know, stick a sticker down, that would be really nice. Very cute, very, very cute. I like that. Looks like you get some big ones as well, I'm not sure. Yeah, six designs, eight pieces and two of the bigger pieces. Oh, I see. So you get um, eight each of these and then you get two of those big ones. Very nice. I like that. And then we have, and I'm not opening it, I'm sorry, because I know what it is. This was a spoiler on their Instagram. This is a kawaii leisure sheet. Now, I didn't know what that was either, um, but they did a video of it. And it's basically, to help you enjoy the nice weather, this leisure sheet is included so you can go out and relax, go on a picnic, tanning, or however you want to enjoy your day. The sheet comes in three cute, three cute designs. Rila Kuma, My Melody, and Sumiko Gorashi. Which did you get? Now, I didn't really care which one I got, but I was hoping for the Sumiko Gorashi because I never seem to get Sumiko Gorashi out of the options. And I got Sumiko Gorashi, so I'm very, very happy. Uh, and what it is, essentially, is a plastic mat. So if you go out on the grass, and maybe the grass is a little bit damp because it's early, or you go to the beach and you want to... You don't want to put a towel down because you want to use your towel, so you put down this. And I don't know the sizing. Doesn't seem to say a size that I can see. Oh, yes it does. Uh, 60 by 90 centimeters. So actually it's very small. It's less than a meter by half. It's only half a meter by a meter, so it's actually really small only suitable really for one person. I was hoping it was going to be bigger than that, but oh well. If I go to the beach I can use this like um, hang it up in a window or something to keep some shade. Because <laughs> one of the beaches that I like to go to sometimes is, um, is one where you can drive onto the beach, onto the sand, 
and park your car and spend the day. So obviously sometimes you want a bit of shade. So I can use this, put it up in the window. <laughs> It'll look cute <laughs> and uh, give me some shade. So that's really nice. And that is the design. Very cute. I'm a bit disappointed by the size though. They looked really big on the uh, Instagram thing. But actually they're really small. And then we have a bag. This was the other thing that was um, like spoiled on Instagram. Not that I mind. It's nice to kind of know some of what you're getting. Get you excited, you know. And this is a Japanese canvas tote bag. And I tell you, the quality of this is amazing. It's really thick. It's not like a cheap, thin tote. There's, there's a lot of sturdiness to this. It says, when you go out for a stroll in the ni nice weather, you'll need a bag to carry your things. This kawaii Japanese style canvas tote bag helps with that. It comes in five different traditional designs. What will you carry with your bag? And the designs that they had were sumo wrestlers, a uh, temple, um, sumo wrestlers in dark blue. Uh, there was one with like flowers and things on, and then the cat with Mount Fuji. And I kind of wanted the sumo wrestlers, I don't know why. But I got the, probably my second favorite one, which is the cat with Mount Fuji. Don't know what this says. If anybody knows what this says, I would love to know. And he's like, ah, I'm a cat and I'm at Mount Fuji, come visit me. Why he sounds like Stitch, I don't know. But this is really cute. Um, it says it's a thousand yen. And actually, to be honest, it is a really good bag. So ten pounds for, or ten dollars for this is like really good. Yeah, this this is nice. I really like this. The if it was thin and cheap, I probably wouldn't. But like, I, I'm not holding it. it. It's holding its shape. That's how thick it is. So nice. And it's even got like a little like a little bonus pouch. really nice and that is everything that came in the box so I'm gonna go through and do some pricing and recap um, starting with this which you know this says it's worth a thousand yen which is roughly ten dollars which is roughly eight pounds so I'm gonna give this one eight pounds because I actually think I would pay full price for this because though it's not overly useful to me at this point in time it is a really really good quality bag this is amazingly thick and i'm thinking that you know this would be really good if you're going on a picnic to carry your individual lunch because um, when i go on picnics with my friends everybody takes their own lunch because everybody has their own favorite things and different budgets and whatever they want to eat they take so this would easily fit a nice bottle of water and some lunch so i could definitely see myself using this so i'm going to give that eight pounds and i'm going to try and do a better job than what i did in april of counting because i failed miserably at that i'm going to give this three pounds. I know it's licensed but to be honest the size is a bit of an issue. If I was to take this out I would be like going out with say two friends and we'd both want to sit on it and to, fitting two fully grown adults on this that would be tight. You know that that's going to be difficult. So not sure not sure. Um, yeah I, I think I think three pounds is is going to be my, my best offer on that one. So that takes me to 11. And these stickers are really cute. I normally pay about two pounds for these because that's what I've been able to get them for from my girl in Japan. So 
I'm going to give these two pounds. So that takes me to 11, 12, 13 pounds. This gets nothing because it's going in the bin. I am not having a squishy that smells like nail varnish remover anywhere in my house. Okay, so we're still at 13. This is really cute. I would give this three pounds. You know, you get things like this, not exactly the same, but you get like cute spoons and stuff in Poundland in the UK. Haven't seen one with a chicken. We have had loofah holders that are like divas singing and stuff. So they're normally in Poundland. But I'll give this three pound because it is cute. You know, it's a little chick. It's a bit different. It is bright and cheerful. And I can imagine it at the back of a kitchen counter, just stood there waiting to be used like a little sentient soldier chick. So I'm gonna give it three pounds, which takes me to 16. And last, but by no means least, we have Pom Pom, who is gonna get 10 pounds because it is a Sanrio plushie. I know how much these things go for. They are very expensive. I'm quite happy to pay 10 pounds for that because of that reason. Uh, I know how much Sanrio stuff is. I also have some things coming soon. Well, I haven't, like I bought them, but I haven't shipped them yet um, that are pom pom in theme so he'll go really nicely with these so yeah very 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 cute oh yes so cute oh so cute <laughs> they look like his arms <laughs> hide your eyes all right so that is everything that was in the box that takes me to 26 pounds which actually is really good considering that one item was like a dud so uh, I'm really, really happy with that. Admittedly, I still think each box should have more items in it, some small things. I think every box should have at least one like um, stationery or something like the stickers. I, I think every box should have something like that pen, some stickers, um, a washi tape, uh, what else? A little memo pad. I mean, they're not expensive in Japan. So to me, putting one of those in there would be pennies to them, but really exciting for me and for a lot of people, you know? So I think they could, I think they could still step up their game a little bit, but we'll, we'll wait and see. We'll give them some time. At least we're finally getting Sanrio plushies. I did not realize that that is the first, like last month, April was the first Sanrio plushie we got which actually really annoys me because I've been getting this box for almost, is it two years now? Or yeah, almost two years now. And next month will be two years, I think. No, this month was two years. So I've been getting this box for two years and this is the first time we've actually had a licensed Sanrio plushie. Don't you think that's a little bit, you know, ridiculous considering they were promising us all these licensed products. We've had little cheap Sanrio things like memo pads and pens and rulers and um, squishies and things like that. We've had little things, but we haven't had, actually we haven't had a Sanrio squishy. I'll take that back. But, uh, you know, I, I wish they'd get rid of the squishies and uh, give us back a decent item, to be honest. Because why, why on earth do I need this many squishies? It's, and they're not even good ones. The last few, we had the Hello Kitty one, which was really nice, and the Bread Sum Sum Donald. Out of all the squishies, those are the only two that I actually kept. The rest of them were just shockingly bad. It's ridiculous. Okay, well, I vented enough. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm gonna go and de-stress. I'm sorry. Um, so I hope you guys have a really great day. I'm gonna try and get this edited before the end of May. It's really late in the month already, and oh, I just, someone's sick at work and I've been doing extra shifts and I'm just ugh, stressed. I'm just so stressed right now. All right, guys, thank you very much. I will see you soon.